Hey, hello everyone. So today uh, we'll be learning about uh, integrating Hashicorp Hashicorp Vault with uh, Spring Boot application. So Hashicorp Vault is just a open source application which uh, you can use to store all your secrets. Uh, for example, uh, username, password for a database. So you can also use it as a, a alternative to the uh, Spring Cloud config server. But uh, generally, it is used for most of the times. It is used for uh, storing usernames and passwords, whichever is the sensitive, whatever are the uh, sensitive information, right? So I'll quickly walk you through like how you can set up the Hashicorp Vault on your local, and just show you the code uh, through which you can uh, connect to the vault, write some data, like write some secret, and uh, retrieve that particular secret, and use it inside your uh, Spring Boot application. So first we will start with the uh, Spring uh, starter. Okay, so we'll just uh, uh, add couple of dependencies, uh, select uh, the project uh, languages. Okay, some basic stuff from uh, start.spring.io. So I have selected Maven, uh, the Spring Boot version. I've just selected the latest version, uh, the group ID, artifact ID and all. Uh, and since I'm running Java 17, so I've selected Java 17 and then added these three dependencies, which is the vault configuration. This configuration we will use to uh, uh, actually connect it to the vault uh, running on our local on our server, right? And then Spring Web to uh, j for just a, a simple a Spring Boot application, and that and then long box to just get rid of the boilerplate ports. So we'll just use annotations in case if re required. If required, otherwise, uh, uh, since our application is uh, quite small, just a you can say. Uh, proof of concept so we will not be using the book but uh, anyhow i've added it just in case we require in uh, future uh, applications right so after generating the code i've already generated and uh, uh, imported in, inside my uh, uh, intellij okay so before walking you through the code so let's say uh, what steps i'll follow is i just uh, cl click on the new and then uh, select project uh, from existing sources and just I've just selected the app, okay, and then uh, import project from an external model, and then create, okay. Uh, once I will create it, you will get this uh, particular set. Okay, I've added some couple of codes in order to connect to the world. We'll walk through later on. Now, since our Spring Boot application is imported, uh, we will now uh, start our world. So, in order to install the world, uh, you can download it from the uh, from the world. Uh, you can say. Uh, website uh, download what you can just uh, select this and uh, you'll be landing to the uh, this website where you will have uh, all this uh, setup if you're running on mac os you can select your setup accordingly since i'm running on windows i've selected uh, this amd64 download so you just have to download it uh, place it uh, somewhere like uh, uh, place it anywhere uh, inside your uh, Windows uh, folder structure, okay, file explorer, and then just copy this. Uh, uh, you can see this path, and then open your environment variables, okay, environment variables. Uh, select the environment variable, go to the path, and just uh, add add that particular uh, uh, thing which, which which we just copied, okay, and then you are good to go. Now we will start the word server on our local. So for that, you have this command to run the uh, world server on your local. So what you can do is just use this uh, particular command like word server. We are running in the dev mode since this is on local. For production and other higher environments, you can refer it to the uh, uh, world uh, documentation, the Hashicorp world documentation, right? So yeah, and then you can give this dev root token ID, which is one, two, three. I've just given it for an example. You can use more uh, complicated uh, string as well over here. So I'll just copy it, uh, uh, start my command prompt. Okay. And then uh, since you've already added that uh, path to the uh, uh, global uh, system variables path, you can just uh, uh, right click and then you'll have this uh, pasted over here, world server in the dev environment. And I'll just press enter. You will have a couple of logs, and at the end you will see the root token. So this is the token which we will use to access the vault itself, right? Uh, so yeah, so you have your Spring Boot application on your local, and then you have your vault server running on your local. Now, 
what we will do is we'll I'll quickly just walk through the code like what I'm doing actually in order to retrieve the uh, uh, write the secrets and read that particular secrets right so I've just taken uh, I'm just storing a password that's a simple password so in this Spring Boot application you can see I've just I'm just using this uh, command line runner and just overriding this run method over here I'm just using the vault endpoint I'm setting my local path which is uh, where the uh my uh, word server is running okay and then you can use the port this is the default port of uh, hashtag of word 8200 yeah you can just select the scheme since this is local you can just go with http because there is no security issues as such for now right and then you can use the word word template in order to authenticate so this is the same token which i had used uh, over here like one two three right so you will just put this uh, token authentication you, you will pass this string inside the uh, token authentication object now uh, starts the process of writing the secret right so i'm just storing a password so you can see so while writing a password i'll just create a map and then i'm just storing the uh, key and the values so in general uh, this hashtag of all stores values in the uh, keys and the value pairs so password is the key and hashi123 is the actual uh, value for this particular password. Now, uh, I'm uh, since I have this map object, I'll be writing it to the uh, word itself. So I'll just uh, create the path. So secret is the name of the path. It can be any name for now, right? And then put this uh, put uh, this data inside the my secret password. So you can consider this as a file name, virtual file name. This is not the file itself, this is just the directory you can say. So you have this path and this is the directory where we are writing the uh, data, right? Uh, for the sake of uh, uh, understanding, I'm just uh, uh, printing out like, yeah, my uh, secret has been written and then this process and then the process of reading the that the same password starts which is like uh, you know, just a read response it will return me i'm using the vault template in order to get my secret so i'm using the same path and the same uh, file from where i'll be reading that particular secret so yeah so once you have the read response map so it will return in the form of version so then you can check whether it has a data or not and then uh, pass it to the password over here uh, i'm just uh, right casting it, it to the string because it might be possible that our value might not be specifically in string it might be int or some other things as well so just to be sure we are just uh, uh, making it the value has an object right now i'm just uh, throwing one exception if the if the password is not equal to hashi123 just for my conveniency and then i'm printing out that okay yeah I'm able, I'm able to retrieve the password and, and access is granted. You can put any message over here. I'll quickly run my application. Okay, uh, I've already run uh, one time previously. I will just run it again and you will get this uh, printed statements, right? So once I run this application, you can see it has started running and then you will have this like access granted thing because uh, I'm writing the password and retrieving that same password, right? Secret return successfully. So we're getting this. That means the data has been uh, written over here and uh, the access has been granted. Just to check, you can, uh, uh, what you can do is you can just select this. Uh, you can go to your local server and then put your token, uh, 123, token, 123, okay, sign in. And yeah, so you will see that my secret password is there over here and then you have this uh, hashi123 which we had uh, written from here okay so yeah similarly you can uh, customize the customize it as per your uh, application and uh, yeah and you can use it uh, as an alternative to the cloud config server as well but i would recommend uh, to just to store the sensitive information because since there is a specific dedicated server involved and the setup on the linux systems are involved so you will have to be more uh, it uh, cloud config becomes more uh, cost efficient uh, and cloud config is also open source uh, uh, like free free to use right and uh, uh, hashik of world comes with the freemium features to some extent it is free but once you when once you when you are say scaling your application or something then it is uh, uh, you will have some cost associated with it so, uh, so yeah so vault is so in short 
uh, what is recommended to store all the sensitive information. Uh, there is also one, one more integration, like if you want to persist your data, there are several ways. Persist your data in what, just in case uh, what server is down or something. So you can use console in order to do those steps. So in future, if required, I'll just uh, uh, create one uh, tutorial to uh, explain that integration as well. But just in case, if you want to check, you can uh, just uh, uh, read the documentation for console and the uh, integration by that. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching.